just scraped this from Cell's databanks. Looks like we just broke out their biggest secret. That creature was the source of Cell's energy. The Alpha Ceph. He's way more powerful than I expected. When I was near him, I saw things the Ceph didn't want me to see. If they can get into my head, maybe I can get into theirs and find a weakness. Psycho, you know of a suit cradle nearby? Yeah. At the skinning lab where Cell held me. Let's link up there in 30 mics. Be careful in there, Michael. There are some things you can never forgive. Deployed in the swamp. Affirmative. Moving to sector. All quiet. Panel vision enabled. All clear over here. False alarm. Understood. Resume perimeter sweep. No visible target. Moving to next. Psycho? No, never. Cell don't spook easily. Find out what you can. We'll meet up at the rendezvous. This is a complete mess. Rash and Claire are offline. You need to solo this while I figure out what's going on.
they're sending an escort for that intel. You don't have long to intercept. Not like it's important or anything, but finding out who tortured me would resolve several personal here. issues I have. It's probably close. Cell have secured the intel. Guess we're never going to find out who tore me from my nana suit. Radio check, radio check, Prophet. You there? Comms were down. EM pulse just knocked out the network. Rash is a wall. I must make him our highest priority, but Michael has your brief.
up, Prophet. Cell records tell me there's a Seth mind carrier near your location. With your sensitivity to the alien influence, you might want to swing wide. Negative. The Seth of one collective intelligence, a hive. It's all dependent on the Alpha. Now he's free, they're all waking up. These mind carriers are part of that process. I need to get eyes on. A hive mind? But you have a lot of alien material in your DNA. I don't know if any of this is a good idea.
Cell's research files. Prophet, the comms network is nearly back online, but our field commanders are reporting revived Ceph everywhere. The dome perimeter hasn't been breached, but inside... My god. They're exterminating everything human. I need to find Rash. I'm... I'm not trained for anything like this! Prophet, heads up. There's a disabled pinger close to your location. With all this Ceph activity, it might become operable again. You think you should steer clear? Maybe. But if it has a power source, I might be able to make use of it. Set up shop above the skinning lab. Enter under Tower 1 Bravo. We'll RV there. You don't have to go back in there, Michael. I can work the suit cradle remotely. I'll be fine. More worried about profit.
go. You always gonna lead the fight to me. Listen, there's not a single day goes by where I don't wish I was you. Even with all that God knows what hardware, wetware, Ceph mutation bullshit going on under that skin of yours, I take it. Come on. Cell had me locked down here for months. Never knew how far they were taking this shit. time before they put me into one of these things. Because that's what the nano suit is, right? A Ceph exoskeleton. I'm gonna make you fucking pay! You bastards! Where the fuck are you? Psycho. If I could find the cell bastard who did this, I'd fucking kill him. Yep. 
Halfways. Calibrating sensor remotes. Just like the light. Compensating. We're in. Locked. Have a seat, mate. To be sure about this. Unlocking the suit means breaking the safety seals, rerouting the nanites. If he's infused with Ceph technology now, there's no telling what he'll become. You can handle this, my boss. Do it. I'm accessing the memory retrieval systems. There was always a risk. Lockers are cleared. I'm registering critical neurological changes. I should be able to make a clear link with the Ceph now. What's this? Michael, you shouldn't. Don't. Why not? It won't help. Operation? The nano suit is then fully removed. Subject 8A, Sergeant Michael Seitz, is. Uh, is still functioning at near optimal levels, but accelerated degradation is to be expected. You did this to me. Michael, please listen to me. You are the reason why. I, I mean, I fight Cell because of you. Because. Is that why you cared? Or were you pretending to care because of this? Because of your own fucking guilt? I didn't have a choice, Michael! The cell program, we were in debt, you know how this works. I was forced to do this. To all of those people. I had to listen to their screams day after day after day. I know what I did. Jesus, believe me, I know. And I'll have to carry that with me as long as I live. Every day of my life. Michael! And feeling bad about it makes it all right, does it? If you're so fucking sorry, Claire, how come I had to find out like this? Why didn't you just come clean, you lying Michael, fuck? listen to me. You know how it works. You know she didn't have a choice. She did what she had to do. No choice. Just doing what she's told. Just following orders. Who the fuck does that sound like, Prophet? I'll tell you one thing, though. She was right about you. You might as well be a fucking machine because you sure as hell ain't no human being anymore. I mean, you never were much good at it to begin with, but Jesus Christ, look at you now! Whose face are you wearing under that helmet these days, Prophet? Do you even have a face anymore? We all had to make sacrifices. You had a choice, mate. Everyone has a choice. Look, I told you. Everything you needed to know. Remember these. All the men who died under your command because you were just following orders. Because you had no choice. Just like her. Psycho. No you take that suit of yours. And you go fight your own battles. Let him go.